Hello there, unfortunate audience. My name is Oletario, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Boy, do I miss playing this game every single time. Last time, we managed to finally make it to the Bird People Village. Was that all our accomplishments? Oh my god. But uh, this time, we're going to be talking to them. But first, I, c I remember, yeah, that thing. What, what the hell is that thing? It's a very weird structure. I'm gonna go check that out first. Because, purely because I want to. Oh, shut the hell up, dude. <laughs> oh, can you imagine that, but with the Minecraft dog dying sound effect? <laughs> oh, it'd be... It'd be weird. Because it, it, it not say You get the joke? Get joke, not same game. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> I'll stop. This is like the only pillar here, so uh, I'm just gonna go and say hi to it. Oh, jalapenos. Nice. Why is this here still? <laughs> oh my god. It's like a thousand feet up. I don't think I- well actually, could I explode this into toppling over? No. What if I- Come on, that- there's a crack in there for a reason. I don't think I'm gonna be able to climb it without climbing that mountain first, and honestly, I don't feel like doing that, so... You know what, we'll figure that whatever the hell that is out one day, but... Another thing we got gotten to do from last time is listen to... A tale about an ancient hero from this guy. Because that was something I said I'd do last time, so we're gonna do it this time. Cut that part out, Oletaria, nobody needs to see that again. It was a story about a freaking how people tried to save Hyrule. That that that's what the story was about, and that's why I'm skipping it. I don't need to hear more about Hyrule. God damn it! Did did mistake just steer itself? This game has automatic turning. What? <laughs> Whoa, mistake! What was that? She just she yeeted herself. What the hell? I guess this doesn't have automatic turning. And also, why do I keep hearing a shrine? What? Yeah, I, I see a shrine in the distance, but I don't think this is the one is trying to point me towards. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I wouldn't know. I don't. I don't have eyes. That is a feature of mines that are missing. I. Okay, so this is the extent you can go through, huh? All right. Let him take. Damn it, did I freaking piss off another giant animal? Yep, I did. First the camel and now the bird. Wait a minute. Those propellers. Those were on the guardian thingies. So the bird are pooping out guardian children flying around trying to kill me. I knew something was wrong about this goddamn place. Look how high up that is though. Ah, you know what? Never mind. We're not going there. I don't... I don't feel like- oh god, something weird just happened, but uh, I don't feel like climbing that high up. No, no. What does it mean when you are bleeding in your shins? Shindrome! <laughs> I'm making this joke because I keep hitting my shins on my freaking table and it hurts- Oh god, the lag! Hello? <laughs> Do you, can you help the lag? Hmm, are you a traveler? I'd like to show you around, but now's not really a good time. Uh, okay, never time. Don't let me keep you up. Okay, cool. What's this? Take? Oh, I don't want to take that. That sucks. Hi, Link. Yes, please climb everything. You are amongst the bird people. The people of... I mean, like, thanks for the music, but... Is this really a time to be putting this insane freaking climactic music? God, this area lags a lot. <laughs> a climactic music in an area where it's just peaceful? Sheesh. I know, right? Is that gold? Oh, it's goat butter. Is that a diary? Or is it a cooking thing? Misa's recipe book. Oh my god, what? There was a recipe book? Apple pie, what's that? First you'll want to buy tobacco wheat, goat butter, and cane sugar here at the Slippery Falcon. Cook those ingredients with an apple until the crust is flaky, golden brown, and the insides are going delicious. Then for added kick, try substituting the apple with something else. Strange. Okay, cool. That's nice to know. I mean, like, 
fuck you for advertising, but come on, that was cool. Oh wait, no, I don't want to be swearing. Uh, screw you, not F you. Oh, new armor! Are you kidding me? I just got my money back. Fi oh, fine, I'll buy the extremely stupidly high-priced armor. I don't have enough money. I do not have enough money. Or do I? Oh, I, I have just the amount of money needed. Oh my god. Oh my god, I am broke. But this does provide cold resistance. Hey, so now I can like go to the highest he heights of the mountains. This is what I needed from before. Oh, I have amber I didn't sell. Oh, that probably... Okay, I said I could I probably have an extra few uh, Dollars in the bank that I could probably do right now, but for now for all I care right now. I'm broke Unless I could well actually I can sell the amber right here. I am still broke. I am still incredibly broke All of this does not provide me nearly enough money to regain my regain my nearly vast amounts of treasury How come every time I join a village I get broke? <laughs> Capitalism is the is a thing to blame. I say we go towards communism. That way, everyone's broke alongside me. Ah uh, yes. Oh, but I am sad though. I'm broke now. Also, yes, I know there's a shrine here. I'm going here just so you can shut up. God, you are annoying. Do not be a major test of strength. Cool, windmills. Anything other than a major test of strength would be nice. <laughs> I think I wasted enough fairies freaking around. What am I supposed to do here, huh? Um... Ah? Uh, ah? Uh, 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 no! No! Every time, Link. Every time. Push this up. Or I could just use a bow and arrow. Like a freaking normal human being. Why am I this much of an idiot all the goddamn time? Come on, it was so obvious. I even knew that that's what I was supposed to do, and I still somehow messed it up. Wait, what the hell was that? Was that like a tiny opening in the side of the thing? What? Hold up. What? what what's this? Oh, yes. I'm not an idiot after all. You see, guys? Everything I do, I do for a reason. Please be money. Please be money. Please be money. Nice! This'll be useful! For money! That's what I want right now, I am broke! Why would I ever want this? Please be something good. I mean like, yeah sure, if you wanna give me that game. Wait a minute, there's one at the end. There, there's one, there's a little hole at the end. Okay. This game's trying to trick me into not going towards the end, but I see that she's right there. I know what to do, I think. Hopefully. Oh wait, that's just a gate. Never mind, then. I thought that was gonna be like a really cool hidden chest, but... Nope, this game just ruins all your imagination, doesn't it? Yep, no imagination to be had here. What a waste of my time and resources. Cool, cool, mostly my time, I need that. Uh, what's going on around here? Ah! What's the, what's the goal here? Alright, I need to know the freaking goals. Am I supposed to be getting all of these winded up? Because if so, this is going to take freaking forever. I suck at getting things winded up. I mean, like, first rule of thumb, this is pointing the wrong way. So that's the first thing to get right. Second of all, this can be pointing over here. That way it's pointing towards those things. Uh, this needs to be pointed somewhere. This needs to be pointed somewhere too. Uh, this is where things get confusing. Oh god. Oh man. Okay, so do I have this pointing here, but this pointing here, yeah, that works, this pointing here, 
Bada bing, bada boom, bla bloom, bloom, bloom. This pointing here, maybe? Hey, I solved it! I think, yeah! You just point a bunch of stings onto a bunch of other things. That's my freaking. Yeah, okay, I couldn't think of anything to put in my. put words there. Really? The other two chests were the only other chests? Alright, whatever. I don't judge. I got this cool freaking outfit that cost me my freaking kidneys, my liver, my lung. Now I have only one lung. I can't go five seconds running. I've, uh. I've seen better days. <laughs> Alright. I'm back at Kakara. Uh, not, not Kakariko Village, idiot. This place. What the. Uh, what the hell is that? That is definitely a shrine. That's nice to know, but uh, how to access the shrine is the question here, and I have not answered that. Anyways, enough screwing around. <laughs> I've screwed around enough. What's inside here? I've screwed around enough. What's this? Swallow. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. Heh, <laughs> take it. Not like I can use it in my condition. <laughs> yeah, just take my possessions. And everything I own. Yeah, just take all of it. I don't freaking want it. Oh, while you're at it, why don't you take my freaking kidney too, huh? I'm sorry, man. Hello, do I need to talk to you? Ah, visitor, welcome to... Oh, 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 man. That object on your head, what could it be? Forgive me, what are my manners? I'm the elder of... I did not see his name. Canelli, the elder of the village. Now then, is that not a Sheikah Slate dangling on your hip? That's right. Oh my, so it is true. That means you must be a champion like Master Rivali, one of the few able to board Divine Beast Va Medal. No, what I'm thinking, champions have all been dead for a hundred years. This boy must be a mere descendant, an inheritor of the Sheikah Slate. Ah, forgive me. Champion descendant, if you would listen to my old man request. You fool! I have survived for a thousand years! I mean a hundred, not a thousand. Correction. Uh, listen to old man's request. You would have my eternal gratitude. I'll listen. Thank you, truly. Now that I know you have the blood of the champion, there is something I must ask of you. How shall I put this? I would like you to deal with the divine beast Va Meadow, uh, the giant beast circling above us. Only a chosen one, a champion, can use this. Can stop the divine beast. You must enter the beast and bend it to your will. <laughs> Freaking get it in a headlock. Alright, I, I want to see clean fighting, no kicks. I tried to explain this to the more headstrong Rita warriors, but they wouldn't listen to reason. Taba and Harf tried to confront Meadow, but it did not go well, and Harf was injured. Taba escaped unscathed, but I fear he now plans to face Meadow alone. As the descendants of the champions, perhaps you can help us. Please find Taba. If you work together, you may be able to stop Divine Beast Van Meadow. Ah, oh, okay. Is it the guy I stole the bow from? Because <laughs> if so, it's going to be a very awkward conversation. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's pointing me over here. The Traveler. <laughs> the Traveler. What? 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 Do I look fucking different? <laughs> Forgive my intrusion, but I overheard you speaking with the Elder. It sounds like you intend to help my husband, Tebo, in the fight against the Meadow. But to tell the truth, there's not much I can do for you right now beyond telling you where my husband went. Where did he go? Hmm? Well... My husband headed to a place called the Flight Range in Dronkon's Pass at the base of the Herba Mountains. It's a place where Rita Warriors prepare for aerial combat. I imagine he's gone uh, there to gather weapons for another run at Meadow. As it happens, he made his way to the Flight Range on foot this time. Where's the Flight Range? Oh, do not tell me it's all the way over there. If you take off from Ravali's Landing, it's a straight shot down to the Flight Range. Rivali's Landing is a memorial for the Rito champion Rivali. So named in the hope that none might forget the events of that horrible day. Huh, Rivali. Sounds like ravioli. Which is my favorite food next to spaghetti. <gasps> I'm Italian! Oh, and also there's a guy named Rivali that I know in the past. His <laughs> like Link could not care less about any of the champions. 
Man, I was Italian. I really like it when Mario and Luigi have strokes in Mario and Luigi games. They don't even say words. They're just like. It's my favorite thing. Hello. Impressive, I know. Very few can achieve a mastery of the sky. Very few can fly. Period. Creating an updraft that allows me to soar. It's considered to be quite the masterpiece of aerial techniques, even among Naruto. Actually, what it's called is a disillusion, like a de-evolution. Like, what the fuck is this? No, I'm serious. Birds are small because flying is a very energy-wasting activity. You need to be very lightweight and have very strong wings. And from the look of it, you weigh 120 pounds. The wing force you need to be able to do that is probably the equivalent to a fucking rock rocket engine. I don't fucking know. Someone get Austin to do this shit. I don't fucking... Game theory. Do a theory, goddammit. That's what you're known for. Is Ravali Ravioli meant to fly? I don't know. I don't remember his name. Unless you think you can prove me wrong, maybe we should just settle this one on one. All right, motherfucker, put your hands off cuffs, cuffs. Oh, I know. How about up there? On the sky, stupid. We can't stand on clouds. Pardon me. I forgot you have no way of making it up to that divine beast on your own. What a dick. He's a bigger dick than me, and that's saying something. Yeah, good luck getting hit by a plane. Bang! But no, seriously, that would totally happen if these people were real. Breaking news! People are learning how to fly and getting hit by planes. 14,000 dead. Soon to come. Descendant! Descendant, are you alright? I'm not a descendant. My apologies. I fear I've said far too much. If there's anything you do not understand, please do not hesitate to ask. Alright. That's nice. So we can go from some- I, We can go somewhere from Ravioli's Landing. So if we go from here, over there, we can make it to Ravioli Land. Hey, I love the mystical music. I really do. It's, it's not important in the slightest, but it just- I just fucking love it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I guess that's it for today's episode. Kind of, a uh, weird way to end this one. But before we actually, like, for realsies, uh, like, end the episode, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna check if I can upgrade this before the episode ends. I don't know. Alright, so apparently we need red choo-choo jelly. Which I didn't even know was a material that existed. Ah, uh, my god. God. All right, I'm gonna try something. If this does not work, uh, future Alterio, cut it out of the video, but... Will burning the choo-choo jelly get me what I want? <gasps> yes! Oh my god! How- how am I this, like, genius, dude? You have to have freaking Uh, what is it? Uh, Harvard IQ to think of this shit, dude. You need to have Harvard IQ. I have 10 choo-choo jellies. Uh, yeah, you can enhance it a fair amount. Alright, red choo-choo jelly, not a problem. Alright, so last thing I need is the pants done. And after that, we shall head back to where we were going. Alright, shut up. Shut up. I don't know- wait, I should have checked. I should have checked to see what I needed next. Because if we can upgrade them twice, then I should have checked. I don't know why I didn't check. Uh, Shut up. I'm looking at what I need, alright, woman? I still just need more choo-choo jelly. What? <laughs> that and warm stuff filling us, but... Like, other than that, I could just get all the choo-choo jelly I need right now. I'll be left with uh, one warm stafala. Hey, tunic... Made by Ritos, this tunic stacks, uh, Great Fairy has increased it by two levels. Alright, that's it, I guess. What I'm gonna do, actually, before we end things off, is I'm gonna check where we can get more Stafalas, apparently. Is what they're called, uh... Uh, medical herb, hot regions such as Gru- Oh, cool, we could just head there, so... But yeah, let's head back and end off the episode, shall we? Alright, so let's end this video off with a cool scene. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, we will be getting to the colder regions of the Earth. Because now, since we have this 
new armor, we can actually head off to the hard, to the colder regions of everywhere. Practically anywhere we want right now is accessible, which is awesome. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time when we go to try to find a guy who's been missing for decades. I know, very easy, I swear. I'm going to die. <laughs> see you guys next time. This is literally a cliffhanger. Please help. Bye-bye. <laughs>